Alright, so uh, in today's lecture, uh, we're going to continue to learn uh, markup chain and from a more theoretical point of view. And first, uh, let's uh, review and set up this uh, whole thing. So we have a stochastic uh, process, which is a discrete time. So our time, which is represented by the subscript n, is 0, uh, 1, 2, etc. And uh, the possible value for x n can take, so for example, so um, it's i, which is uh, in the state space, so s, which is our state space. For example, so i can be 0, 1, or 0, 1, 2, etc. So we normally require our state space being a finite space or countable. So today, uh, theory's perspective, uh, we'll focus on uh, the countable case. Okay, and let's review uh, what's PIJ. So PIJ and uh, is, whoops, the probability that so let's assume we are currently at uh, the time k is a probability from state i jump to uh, state j okay so um, this is the current state that is given and this is uh, the probability from state i to j and I want to emphasize one thing that is uh, whoops this state i is at time k and state j is time k plus one so based on this fact is they are like intermediate step. I want to add a little one here. So this is actually called a one step transition probability. So similarly, we can define, in general, n-step transition probability as follows. That is, the probability of given, so our current state is j, and what's the probability after n-step? Okay, so after n-step, our stochastic processes uh, jumps to state j. So let me emphasize this is uh, so after n steps the probability of from state i to j okay. so this is uh, this is called n step whoops so this is called n step transition uh, probability. Okay. And today our main focus is to develop an equation for uh, this n-step transition probability. As you guys might already uh, read the title, it's called a chapman Kamagroff equation. But uh, before that, let's motivate by uh, re recall example one from a previous lecture, which is uh, this uh, um, ring or not ring model. So for ring or not ring model, we have, um, so if it rings today, it has a 40% of chance of raining yesterday. I'm sorry, tomorrow. Okay, so if it rains today, tomorrow, there is a 60% of chance 
uh, it becomes not raining. So if it's not raining, so let me add a annotation here. So R means rain and the state of S means no rain. Okay. There is a, a ninety percent of the chance. So if it rain if it does not rain today, we have a ninety percent of chance it won't rain tomorrow either. And however it has uh, this uh, ten percent of chance go back to um, rain. Okay. So now let's first consider, so before uh, we derive the general n-step transition probability, let's first consider what if we have a two-step, okay? So from two-step, we actually, we can actually draw, because this is a, a very special case, in that uh, our state space is binary for a binary state space. So we can draw what is called this a uh, binary tree. Okay, so let's uh, see what's this. So let's suppose we start our clock uh, from, let's say, day one, and we ignore the weather condition of day one. I'm sorry, day zero. So we start from here, and then to day one, okay, we have rain. Or not rain. Okay. So let's say this is n equals. Um, let, let let me still use k. Okay. So this is k equals one, and for k equals two. So, for example, so if it rains today, it's gonna be. So it's either gonna rain at k equals 2 or not rain at k equals 2 okay so similarly if it's not raining today so we have two possibilities for the states at k equals 2 okay so and let's uh, emphasize the value here so for example if rains today it has a 40% chance it's going to rain uh, tomorrow. At 60% of chance, it's not raining. So if it's not raining today, it has 0.1 chance go back to rain, and it has 0.9 chance remain not raining. So, uh, and let's draw one more, which is k equal 3. So apparently, and uh, let's just finish this tree. Okay. If it's uh, if it's not raining here, okay. So we have point one chance go back to rain, and we have point nine chance. That's remain not raining and similar for um, if at k equals 2 it rains uh, we can uh, similarly we can uh, put this probability here okay so this is point 0.6 so now let's uh, try to compute this which is a probability of so x1 is uh, raining, while x3 is not raining. Okay. So this is like uh, from, so if we put, uh, so let me put, so r, which is our not raining, I'm sorry, r is raining. S is not raining. So the 
and let's say uh, if we assign a numerical value to uh, the states, so we say um, r is zero and s is one. So then, uh, so this is uh, state zero at uh, time one, and this is a probability of we jump to state one at time three. Okay. So now let's look at so let's back at this binary tree. So apparently, apparently, okay. So it's not raining, and uh, I'm sorry, it, it's raining. It's here. So while it's not raining at k equal three, we actually we have two little leaf or we'll say nodes right here. So if we want to compute. This probability, we actually we have to add these two branches. So let me highlight the branch. Okay. And uh, so this is branch one. Then let me use another color. Let me use this color. Okay. So another branch is right here. All right. So then what happens is we can actually backtrack because we have 0.4 chance of rain and then 0.6 chance uh, becomes non-raining. So we can do 0.6 times 0.4. So this is one possibility plus another possibility that is a 0.9 that times 0.6. So this is this is a very uh, intuitive way of using the binary tree to compute um, the two-step uh, transition probability. So uh, in next video, so we're gonna derive a general formula uh, if our state space is uh, countable.